Pro Romero Benavides here. I'm working on a Volvo MCT, a Maytag, basically bad uh, washer. I'm having issues with a drum not turning when it's loaded. Uh, I pulled the center bolt out. I'm having trouble getting the uh, agitator out. So I'm running some hot water and see if it actually floats it up. See how it works. I'll just stop the video for a little bit. It still hasn't done anything. Alright guys, I'm going to try something else, maybe on a power wash cycle, see if it actually agitates harder and causes it to release. Alrighty, pause this thing. I have a feeling if I stop it, it might just come up. Uh, it's one of those, but I've got I'm losing time here. Okay, still no release. I'm about to get mean to this thing. Now I put the bolt back in with water uh, still in the tank or in the uh, in the washer. Hang on. Gonna stop that. I'm gonna use that to help me kind of float it. Uh, I'm gonna hit it with this uh, hammer drill setup, just in hammer, and uh, put the bolt back. people I think I just broke it free at least it moved yep I think I got it Woo. hammer drill impact uh, with the bolt on got these needle nose pliers got underneath the uh, applicator oh, I almost dropped my drill on my dog boy you better watch out say hi Kiko be nosy almost got you hurt all right good so that's that i believe i got it oh lord help me yeah i got it Two hand job. All right, I got it. We got it to flow. Yeah. That's pretty nasty. Ooh, yeah, that's nasty. And 
reason why it gets stuck, I believe it's like a cast, iron, yeah, it's got some corrosion to it, I need some, oh, I don't want to put any season in it, <laughs> mess up all our stuff, so, just have to leave it as is, that's the part that needs to come out, that was the hard part, I believe, some people take this hall apart, take the top off, take this area, and I don't do none of that, I can get to it from here. All right, let me pry on this and get it off with the new part in. The horseshoe plastic here, it's like a pin, like a cotter pin almost holds that from spinning on the shaft. That's that, now it's got one, two, three, four, five, six uh, Allen, I mean six Phillip head screws and that should come up. Okay, I've got my little electric screwdriver. the time to clean up all that mess also now is the time to look in the slots there and see if you have any coins surprisingly i don't see any coins on this one uh which i've done this before and i've had a lot of coins in it and uh, surprisingly not not this time uh but yeah I think that was the last screw I just undid. There it goes. Came right out, completely rounded out. Yeah. Remnants of spline right there. They ain't nothing. Completely messed up. Trash. That's what it is. Trash, trash, trash. Got a little handy dandy something from my Amazon replacement part. Says it's supposed to be better than the original, but it says made in China. Part number, exact looking replacement. This is the second or third time I've done this. Uh, tell whoever's doing your washing, doesn't matter who, don't overload these things. Especially when you do like six or seven heavy blankets or high uh heavy duty hds high capacity type washers but they just can't handle it. once they get wet uh they just can't handle that with all the torque from the electric motors just strip these little cheap plastic parts right up i'm gonna clean this up and i'll be back okay he's in old school scrubbing bubbles it's a shower cleaner but working for this actually made a difference already a little scrubber in action here cut it out use this little part if you got something like that get inside these little crevices this off run it a cycle probably before um i actually put clothes in it pretty much put it together in the exact opposite direction or way that you took this thing off uh put it back on and just run it a couple times to clean all this junk out of it uh make sure there's no coins uh that's about it guys i hope this video helps it did give me a hard time i've actually had it where the hot water did work but it's actually more corroded now, and this is probably the third time I've done it. This is the hardest time, I, the hardest time I've had. Uh, so I had to break out the big boy, and it worked. Uh, last resort thing, but you know, didn't do any damage to the bolt. Uh, but you know, when you need your washer, you need your washer. <laughs> All right, good day, good night, uh, good week, good day. 
good month, whatever you want to do. Uh, I don't know when the next time I'll be, be making a video, but uh, I'll let you know. I appreciate you guys. Bye. Romero Benavides out. Okay, uh, make sure that the seat, uh, this sort of white uh, gear setup here seats very good against the drum. Because it, it didn't push down all the parts. I'm using these. I'm probably not supposed to. The screws will help it seat. And it falls right in. It's not putting any extra strain on it or anything. And don't over tighten it. It's easier to do with these little torquey things here. Screwdrivers. All right, next is this little clip here. Help lock it in place. Goes in this way, or I believe this way. Whichever way seems to be easier. Just tap it in very carefully. So it should look right there. Tapped in. Everything's snug, everything's set, everything's near, everything's clean. And I'm going to put it back together. And that should be it, guys. I, th I think you guys got it from here. Thank you again. Bye-bye.